Welcome to another All Aboard Layout update. It's been a while since my last update and as you could probably tell, not too much has changed on the layout. I might have done a little things here and there, but overall it's mostly the same as I left off several months ago. There are several reasons for that. Some of which are good, some of which are bad. The main reason is that I've been off at school. I've started college, so I'm away from home most of the time. So I've been there for the past few months and I'm home on winter break right now. So that's, that's a pretty good reason. But the other reason is not so good. And I'll go ahead and uh, show you what I mean. So I'm over here at the engine yard of my layout. Now, as you can probably see, there is a gap here between the plywood and the frame for the layout. That gap is not supposed to be there. Originally, it was flat down, flush against the frame. But due to the location of my layout and in the basement, as you can probably hear the sunk pump over there running, it has created a lot of moisture in the basement and warping has become a large issue all over the layout. And I've been trying to fix it as I can, but there's a lot of places that are very difficult to fix or near impossible without dismantling large sections of the layout. So that's been one of the main issues keeping me from continuing working on the layout. It is, the main issue is running longer train cars, such as, where did I go? Such as my auto racks here. These will uncouple when they go over the warp section of the track due to the changes in height that occurs. So that's been one issue. I've been testing it out. I've fixed a few places that have bad issues. So it at least works for now. Let's go ahead and check out one spot over here. This was one of the main issues right here. As you can see, I have, what I did was remove the track from the roadbed and slip some paper under there, which helped enough to where they won a couple here, but there's a couple issues. And it also causes issues with the lift out here as it changes and it warps a little bit, the track comes out of alignment. So not too much has changed. I might have added those tracks there since the last update. But I think other than that, that's probably about it. So hopefully I can figure out some ways to combat the warping issue and fix areas that need it and get back to running trains and working on the layout when I'm home. But we'll see what happens. Just wanted to give you guys a little update because it's been a while. Hope you enjoyed and if you have any tips on uh, fixing the warping, go ahead and let me know. So I'm all for trying to figure out ways to fix that. So hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys next time.